Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd show you just really quick, simple cards, but beautiful. Um, background ones, I'm gonna use bleach. Who remembers the bleach technique? I done this years and years and years ago, and I forgot all about it until Julie Hickey reminded me. Um, good old Julie Hickey, thank you. Um, there's so many techniques out there that we do and then we just forget. Um, so I'm grateful for being reminded. Um, so all I've done, I've got some, it's just really cheap, Asda, cheap bleach in my little dish there. And then I've already gone ahead. Look, I dripped a bit, damn. Um, but I'd already gone ahead and I've put these through the embossing folders. These are 3D embossing folders. So this one is the floating foliage, which is just beautiful. And then this one is whimsical bouquet, bouquet. Um, sorry if my camera's at a bit of an angle. I'm using a different stand at the moment and it's all gone a little bit, woo. Um, so sorry about that. You're not on a ship or anything. Um, now, with the bleaching technique, it really depends on the cardstock you're using. So if I try to do it on this black cardstock, it doesn't work. It's a really good quality cardstock. Good quality <laughs> doesn't work so well, especially with dark ones. So you really want like sort of cheaper, well, not so much cheaper, but thinner thinner card stocks. This is much thinner than, I know you can't tell on camera, but this is thinner than this. This is just some card stock I had in my stash, but I did do a couple of bits. So this, this is an old basil one. So this isn't cheap, but it's thinner and it, and it worked. Look, it went all lovely and white. And then look at that one. On this color, it sort of bought it out like a gold. It's beautiful. And then this one, isn't really a um, a dyed through cardstock like this is all the way through because this is another colour on the other side. Um, this is just one of my old um, Echo Park ones. But look, you've just got like a tiny little bit on there. So if you want to do something like this, I'd encourage you to have a little play. Just get out all your scraps that you've got and just play around with it. I'm really annoyed that I've got that line there. So I might actually cut this out and turn it into something else afterwards. So I just want to show you some quick um, techniques. So one is the bleaching and the other one we're going to use the, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, Gansai Tambi. Um, I've got the golden ones, like the starry colours, and then I've got the pearl colours. So we'll have a little play with those as well. I've already started with this one. Um, it's just so beautiful. Look, let me move everything out of the way because here I go, I start procrastinating and getting a mess. So I've just gone in. I didn't water down my bleach and I'm gonna go in, let's go for these bits. It doesn't look like it's doing anything at first. In fact, it goes darker. And then that starts soaking in. And then if you use your heat tool, as if by magic, it's gone white. It just looks fantastic. So I would say do it in a ventilated room for obvious reasons, it's bleach. I'm just gonna go in and just pick up a few little bits. You don't have to be too, well, you do have to be careful, otherwise you end up with that bit across it like I got. Let me just move this in a little bit. And I'm just gonna pick up a few bits. And I love how this goes white. So there, there must be, I don't know if there's a white core in there, but obviously it's on a white base. I would assume before it, well, most of them are on white bases before they're dyed. But it's funny how you'll get different colours come through on different ones. So let me just give that a little. It 
isn't that pretty? Just so, so pretty. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to whiz through this because I want to get this one done. So I'll fast forward this for you. Okay, so because I'm a numpty and I've got no patience, I've got all these little lines, I might, do you know what? I'm, I might ruin it now. <laughs> Let's have a go. I'm just thinking if I just do some splats and make it look like it's part of the pattern. Try not to splat yourself though. Probably should have put um, a little apron on or something but just some little splats. Okay, so let me just wipe that on my baby wipe. Um, but what I was gonna say is, do you have to use a heat tool to accelerate it? No, you can see that slowly going white. It's just about speed. So if you want it to turn whiter quicker, use a heat tool. Okay, I'm liking the splats because it actually looks like it's all part of it now and you can see those lines where I kept dripping it. That's because it's a, it's quite a thick bleach, even though it's a cheap one. Um, but anyway, I just, I think it looks beautiful. What does it do? Oh, look, you sort of get it come through a bit on the backside as well. That looks nice. Anyway, um, so then I was thinking, right, let me just make sure... This is clean. I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's get these little guys. Oh, try and open them. And then I just want a bit of water. Let me just, sorry, lean in across. And let's just do a little spurt of water in there. Would help if I'd have put enough water in, wouldn't it? Empty. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm cleaning this right off. I don't know if this is going to come out or not. It's just a thought. But let's go something like this one. I don't know if it's too pale. So this is the champagne gold. Let's get that on there and then just touch the ends of the, the leaves. And just sort of spread them in a little bit. You could have just left it exactly as it was. But I quite like just giving a little bit extra to it. And then people look at it and think, mm, how'd you do that? And it's ever so easy. So a little bit. Yeah, so it just, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Well, I think so anyway. <laughs> Okay, so let me just whiz through this and I'll probably do a bit on the other one as well. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the light gold and the champagne gold on that. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Anyway, do a little bit more. Okay, I might just leave it like that. I might end up doing some splats. But I, I'm really happy with that. I just love those. Okay, so if we've done the same, let's get a bit more water on the black card stock. Let's turn it up that way. Okay, let's grab. That's better. Oh yeah. So try not to have too much water in there because it does spread out a little bit. Let's just try again. 
Okay, I feel this is a bit messier. So I am going to swap out for a much finer brush. It's going to take longer. But I've de definitely got more control over it. Can you tell I've not done it on this card before? <laughs> there I am again. I'm not happy with that. This is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not happy with how this has come out. But I, do you know what? Growing up with my children, not me growing up. Well, actually, I was growing up, I suppose. Um, but I never let my kids go over the lines. <laughs> They'd really tell me off for this because I've really gone over the lines as such. But I am gonna just try it. Do you know what I'm gonna try? Let me just clean that off again. Bit of water in this one. This is called white gold, so this should be quite striking. Should be. Okay, let's just fill in these gaps. Do you know what? It, I'm not I'm not making excuses up for myself. Well, I sort of am, but I've got the wrong glasses on. These are my old ones and I've had a new prescription since then. And I really can't see very well. <laughs> oh, look. Isn't that beautiful? Just stunning. So I'll take some time. I'll do a few other little bits. I might even, hang on, hang on. Bring a bit of this in. Just rub it in. So just bring it around the edges and then just pull it in. I feel like I need to spend ages on this, like really ages. And I like it. But you know what? I'm drawn to this all the time because <laughs> it's because it's teal. I just I just love these ones. So I'll see if I can finish this. But I have just got an idea. Hang on, I've just got to grab some bits. Okay, I'm gonna see if this works. It might not. So I've got the Sweet Meadow stamp set from Julie Hickey Designs. Hopefully it's still available. If it is, I'll do a link um, on Craft Stash, which is in the USA and the UK. Um, if not, she's got loads of other designs on there, which are just as stunning. Let me just pull that off. And I think, actually, I've got a block out, but I think I'm going to use my Misty. So, let me just place that there and then position that about there. Right, now I want to get, so that can go back in there. I'm working in a much smaller space at the moment, this is crazy. I need a bit of kitchen roll. And I'm just going to fold it up. And I'm going to dip it into my bleach. I have no idea if this is going to work. I really don't. And I'm just going to pat it down. I might be pushing too hard. And then it might go inside the stamp which i really don't want it to do but we'll see we'll see so that's in there let me just see if i can see it sort of going on let's just have a little look see oh i might have done too heavy in one place 
Look, I nearly got it all. Nearly. It does spread out a little bit. I'm, ju I'm just going to line it back up again. Oop. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do you know what I should have bought? Up? I should have bought me, um, me daubers. Should have bought a dauber. Let's just try that again. Let's just go do, 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 do. all over again. I do like dicing with danger. Try again, just see if we can. It's probably quite a busy stamp to do this with. Something more just an outline would work really well. And also if you had a door, but not a piece of kitchen roll, for goodness sakes. All right, let's try that again. Do you know what? I'm pretty okay with that. I really like that. It just <laughs> looks really subtle. It's not precise. I, I get that. But I just think a nice little sentiment. The bit where I didn't get it perfect, I'll just put a little sentiment across. I like that. And now I've just soaked up the rest of my bleach. So. <laughs> but one thing I will say is, I mean, I don't know whether it will damage it, but I would say clean your stamp off. And if you have to, I mean, afterwards, I'm going to go and run this under the tap to make sure all the bleach is off because it's probably gone in all those nooks and crannies. Um, but this is what I do when I haven't got everything in front of me. I just grabbed a few bits. Um, and yeah, you just have to make do with what you got. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling the love on the black. I'm really not. I should, do you know what? If, if I'd have used the fine, look, how that one's come out lovely. That one, I got it in a mess. I'm not happy with that. This I love. I'm not happy with me leaves. Um, I am a bit of my own worst enemy, but you know. Someone will be happy with it. But these, oh my goodness, I love them. Right, I'm going to make them into cards and I will show you at the end. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye. Oh, before I go, I'm going to use, <laughs> I'm probably just going to use these on them. Just Julie's um, die cut foiler balls. This is the Assorted Sentiments too. Um, because I then haven't got to do anything. I could, because they're toner printed, I could actually put um, the WOW toner foil, remember, toner foil with toner printed card. Um, but I'm not, I'm just going to use them as black and white and see what they look like. Failing that, I've just got to reach across. I've got some of my, um, the Wow Fab Foilers that, you know, I could just put, so lovely. These have already been foiled, pre-foiled. So yeah, I'll have a little look, see what I fancy um, and show you at the end. So thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye.